Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Morphy and Placido Dominguez. This game was played in Havana in 1864. Anything important happened to you in 1864? Just kidding. Paul Morphy had white pieces and he started with e4. Placido Dominguez played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to c6. Bishop to c4. The Italian game. Knight to f6. Two knights defense. And now d4. The Scotch game. Maybe. e takes on d4. Instead of a knight takes on d4. Morphy castled kingside. Bishop to c5 defending the pawn. Why to move? How would you continue? Paul Morphy played e5, attacking the knight on f6. Knight to e4, let's take it back. d5 is the modern approach. And after bishop to b5, then knight to e4. Back to our game. Knight to e4. Bishop to d5, attacking the knight and preventing black from playing d5. Let's take it back. Rook to e1 is also a good move in this position. So is queen to e2. Back to our game. We have bishop to d5. Dominguez played f5, defending the knight. Pawn takes pawn and passan. Knight takes on f6, attacking the bishop. Bishop to g5, pinning the knight. Bishop to e7, unpinning. Black is now threatening. Knight takes bishop. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do? Masters know which pieces should be exchanged. Morphy played bishop takes knight. The knight was the best defender of the black king. Bishop takes bishop. Rook to e1, check. Black to move. Knight to e7 was played. If bishop to e7 and knight to g5 is unpleasant, perhaps black could have played king to f8. Naturally, Dominguez wanted to castle a king's side, so he didn't want to move his king. He played knight to e7. Knight to e5. Bishop takes knight. Why to move? How would you continue? I guess some players would capture the bishop with the rook. Do you agree? Morphy played queen to h5 check, threatening checkmate on f7. g6. Queen takes bishop on e5, attacking the rook, rook to f8. Why to move? I guess some players would capture the pawn on d4. Do you agree? Instead, Morphy played knight to d2, developing the knight. c6, attacking the bishop. What is the best square for the bishop? What would you do? Perhaps bishop to b3 comes to mind. Instead of moving the bishop, Morphy played the knight to e4. Let's take it back. If bishop to b3, then d5 is putting the bishop out of the game for a while. Back to our game. Knight to e4 was played. Black is in trouble d6 was played. If c takes on d5, then knight to d6 check mate. Back to our game. d6, a really desperate move. Knight takes on d6 check. King to d7. Bishop to e6 check. King to c7. Knight takes on c8 discover check. Queen to d6. White to move. And to checkmate in one, and the move is queen takes queen check mate. Just a side note, this was just one of the blindfold simul games that Morphy played on that day. Amazing, isn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.